بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه سلم تسليما كثيرا Beloved brothers and sisters Yes, we might be baffled All the doors of Jannah open in Ramadan And Jannah has eight doors How can I stand a chance to enter into Jannah Through one of these doors or through all the doors Number one May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the strength and the ability to worship Him wa ta'ala accordingly. And also remember, none of us will enter Jannah through your acts of worship or through your good deeds. As the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, the Sahaba asked him, Ya Rasulullah, even you, he said, even me, except by the mercy of Allah wa ta'ala. So we ask Allah wa ta'ala to grant us His mercy, but the mercy is deserved. What makes you to deserve the mercy of Allah? is your good deeds. Your good deeds, Allah will know my servant X, my servant Y has really tried, has really worshipped me as much as he or she could. And now I'm going to apply my mercy upon him or her to grant him Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us his mercy, tabaraka wa ta'ala. But everyone stands a chance to enter Jannah through any door by being dedicated to one of these acts of worship. But also, we all stand an equal chance to enter into Jannah through all the eight doors or to choose from any of the eight doors to enter Jannah through. Allah Akbar. This goes to show Islam is a very simple religion. It's a very moderate religion. It's not difficult. Perhaps people might say, why everything is haram in Islam? Well, maybe all the things you do are haram, but not everything is haram in Islam. Eating is not haram. Sleeping is not haram. Listening the Quran is not haram. So perhaps... You are engaged in too much haram. That is why you think everything is haram in Islam. As soon as you change your ways, you change your mindset, realize, you realize that Islam is very simple, Islam is very moderate, and Islam is a chance. Is, Islam has given chance for everyone to have a very peaceful life, enjoying within the limits of Allah. Wa ta Remember when the Prophet ﷺ asked Bilal, Ya Bilal, ma arja amalin amil fil Islam. Which of the deeds in Islam are you doing that made me to hear your footsteps in Jannah? Bilal mentioned only one act of worship. That is what? Whenever I break my ablution, I make sure I renew my ablution and I pray to Raka. Any time of the day this happens to my, my wudu happens to break, I, I renew my wudu and then I pray to Raka. Only this. This goes to show Islam is about quality, not quantity. Allah says, لِيَبُلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ amala. He created death and life to see or to test who amongst us will go back to him wa ta'ala with the best of deeds, not the most of deeds. So Islam is about quality, not quantity. That's what the Prophet ﷺ says. Anyone who performs ablution, perfects his or her ablution, and then he says, Ashhadu, without putting your hands like this, says, Ashhadu, Allah ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika lah, wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasulu. If you say this after perfecting your ablution, and then you say this, remember, without putting your hands like this, your finger like this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you entry into Jannah through any door from the eight doors as you wish. Red carpet reception. Allahu Akbar. Brothers and sisters, no matter how weak you are, at least I hope and I pray those who are unable and those who are you know, overpowered by their desires, I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the chance to be pray. And I believe that most of us we pray. Anytime you pray, one of the conditions of the prayer is your ablution. So try to perfect your ablution. Learn about the conditions of ablution, the obligatory parts, the sunnah, and the mustahab, the recommended parts. You will be able to perfect your ablution. After perfecting your ablution, you say simple statements and you have red carpet reception to enter Jannah. We ask Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala to forgive our sins, to strengthen us, to accept our act of worship, and to grant us the chance to enter Jannah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.